Welcome to TPM's 3-Minute Thursdays. This is part 2 of a two-part series on leveraging file properties. Today we're going to look at how to develop the interface that we can access directly on our SOLIDWORKS task pane to enter in our file properties. In our example, we have some text fields where we manually enter some data. We have some drop-down lists to ensure consistency. And we have some radio buttons to allow us to control which groups appear and disappear based on that selection. To create the interface, we'll use the Property Tab Builder, which can be accessed here in our SOLIDWORKS task pane. When we look at the interface, the center section is the design preview. The left-hand side is all the controls that we'll be using. The right-hand side is where we'll enter the information about each of the different controls. First thing we need to select is what type of template we're trying to create for parts, assemblies, drawings, or weldments. Next, we'll work with the group box, give it a description, and you'll see the design interface updating. Next we'll drag in a text box for things like part number or description, those types of fields. The caption is just what's going to display in the interface. The one that's uh, very important, the syntax that you choose is the name field. Also very important is the configurations. We want to choose whether we want it on the custom tab or the configuration specific. So if this is a value that may vary based on configurations, we'll need to put it on the configuration specific tab. So we'll do things like part number and description. We can also do drop down lists. An example of a drop down list would be for something like finish. And here we may want to list out some of the different finishes that we might want to use. And we can optionally allow users to type in their own values there if we like. These lists can also be pulled from text, Excel, or Access databases. Another common one is the SOLIDWORKS material. So following the same process, now here, instead of leaving the value blank, we'll hit this drop down and we'll choose SOLIDWORKS calculated information, the SOLIDWORKS material, for example. Notice SOLIDWORKS mass that we would use for the weight. We'll fast forward to an example that's already been started. and we'll show you how to do the radio button. In this example we have two different groups that we want to only appear based on an answer to a specific question. So we'll do that with a radio button. The question is are we going to make or buy this particular design? So with the radio buttons, we can label what we want the two different choices to look like. And then we can assign the value to the file property that's going to be entered in by making that selection. Another option that we have is to control which groups will appear based on your selections. So for example, when make is selected, I want the manufacturing data to appear. When buy is selected, I want the purchasing data to appear. We'll save our template and we'll test that out in SOLIDWORKS by creating a new blank part. We'll assign a material. We'll take a look at the file properties. Notice the blank template did not have any of the values entered in there. None of the fields are available. We'll come over to the Custom Properties tab within our task pane. If we have multiple templates, then we'll be prompted to choose a template that we want to use. As soon as we select the template we want to use, we see the same interface that we were just looking at in the Property tab builder. We'll enter some basic information. Notice the drop-down list here. Notice the radio buttons where we can choose if we're going to purchase or manufacture. And some data down here that gets automatically populated. So the auto-populate section I chose to have collapsed. 
and our weight is automatically being calculated. We can also utilize this drop down list to change our material. And when we make those changes, we can see that the weight gets updated, as well as if we look over here in SolidWorks, the material that's being used is updated as well. So with a little bit of setup time working with the Property Tab Builder, you can easily develop a very nice usable interface that you can access directly in your SolidWorks task pane. Thanks for watching TPM's 3-Minute Thursdays.